<laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, I'd love for you guys to participate, and I think I think you guys guys definitely creative minds. And uh, if you guys are curious why we're doing it, even though I'm not a partner, let me show you where we're going, where I'm going with this. This is who we're doing it through. It does take time for the approval, though. This is him going off and killing us. There's the Infernal. There's the Lion's Eye. Should be lethal right here. He has a way to get his hand empty. He has enough mana to put the Infernal Tutor on the stack. It's already lethal, man. When will I reapply for partner? Not a long time from now, Full Metal. Not until we get like 400, 500 people in this thing. I'm not kidding. I mean, that's that's what they kept telling me is, you know. Okay, Jones, I'll check it out. Just realize since I'm live, it's it's gonna everybody's gonna see this. You can't really whisper to whoever's live. Uh, Shade, it's not that Twitch doesn't care. It's that they just. Um, they're, they're looking, they're looking for numbers, you know. We could have the coolest magic stream ever, it doesn't matter. They're looking for numbers, Shade. I could be doing really successful with Patreon. It doesn't matter. I don't really want to talk about how many times I've tried to apply just based off of, you know, charity or cool things that we're doing on the stream. They, they just want numbers. They're about numbers. They want numbers. <laughs> uh, numbers that we just don't have here. So, it's fine. Uh, you know, in the words of my, my team, stream team captain Nathan, it's overrated. Uh, being a stream uh, Twitch partner is overrated. The only thing that I want from it really is the better streaming options, the better uh, video options. Other than that, I don't really care too much about it. Words if storm is low. No, we're dead, tropical. He went really overboard with the uh, with the storm. We're I can't swords Bob to save us. He cast a lot of spells. <laughs> This tendrils is very lethal. He cast 13. 13 spells before. We're very toast. I was bored. I actually took down Storm uh, both of my games I played against it at the tournament. It, um... But then again, I was running in Light and Tutor main deck with other sworn canonists, so. I, I did. So, our board gets a lot better post board. There's a lot of things I can bring in. I don't really like Blue Blast. I mean, I know he's on the. Um, the Pass and Flames variant. 
It still doesn't feel great. We'll consider it. It's... It's pretty meh. Just, it's just not very impactful. You know what's funny is I've gotten Storm players with Back to Basics before. This guy seems to be running a lot of Basics though in his build, so I don't think we will. Yeah, I know what you're talking about there, Jack. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, you, you expect swarm. You do anticipate swarms. So, you know, it's not always correct to just, just you know, cut all of them immediately. Uh, toxic is a pretty efficient answer to goblins. Can also kill a, a Xanted Swarm. I could see running one back to basics. Worst case scenario, we pitch it to a force or a misdirection. It's not horrible. Misdirecting a tendrils can mess with the math. Um, there's a lot of little things you can do to mess with the math. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, I think she was the same voice actress. I think she's the same voice actress, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely different, Gallagher. It's definitely different. He would blind name Brainstorm. I totally respect my opponent. Always assume that your opponent knows what they're doing. Always. What really sucks is we're drawing nothing but lands. Um, he's not going to blind name Fluster. He may have another piece of disruption. Um, I could also choose to only shuffle away one land and conceal the Fluster Storm. And, you know, he's not going to blind name Blue Blast. Like, what you could do is you could put the Tundra, or the Underground Sea, on top, then the Fluster Storm. Because if he has another therapy, it's nice for him not to know about the Fluster. This also means that I'm going to, you know, be drawing one more additional land than we did than we needed to. Because uh, obviously the plan is to... Um, can we misdirect Thoughtseize? Uh, you, you can, Jones, it just doesn't do what you, you hope it would do. But with Dark Confidant. Okay. Now, Blue Blast only has one target in this match, but it doesn't mean it's unplayable. Certainly, I feel like it's better than a Swords of Plowshares. It doesn't mean it's good either. A lot of people tell me it's batter skill you want to use against Storm because the life total matters. I also like Sword of Fire Ice because of the card advantage it offers. I've seen some people run Disfigure. You know, there's a chance that he would disfigure the batter skull. I mean, uh, the, the Stone Forge. And then, in that case, it's better to have Sword because you can cast it. But a lot of people like... I can understand why batter skull is, you know, batter skull, of course, gaining life relevant against Storm. Uh, I'll go with the batter skull. I mean, I like Sword of Fire Ice in the match a lot, but I'll go with the batter skull. 
So what's nice is if he tries to go off passive flames, I mean, he already knows about the blue blast. We know you got him covered. You can just counter the passive flames. He doesn't know about the fluster. This is him taking the batter skull, though. I don't have a feast in famine. I brought it to the tournament. I also considered, uh, you know, trying to protect the batter skull there. I don't think it's worth it. Drew a misdirection. Plenty of brainstorms left in the deck. I'm probably not going to play the Swamp or the Tundra. How did I do? I did really well, yeah, poor boy. We, uh, I got for, uh, fourth place. And no, it wasn't the Star City term. It's just, uh, just a local, but it was my first time playing the deck, so it was really exciting. It's pretty exciting. So here's the disfigure. We're okay with this. viewers. Uh, I appreciate the notion, uh, Full Metal. We'll see. Car into a cop car the other day. Oh, you just. Mm -hmm. Bit too much for what did I say? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. He's got a full grip, which is pretty scary. Gotta do, gotta do, gotta do, gotta do. I can't tell. And we'll all float on, okay. And we'll all float on, okay. I'll float on anyway, well. Now what you could do here is play the sword out. But, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, mostly Legacy, Paul. Mostly Legacy. If you play small, crack the flooded, you could put the sword into play. But I don't like that line. I think I will finally play the small. And just pass. And we'll all float on. Okay. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> no, he just doesn't want to discard down. Okay. That's nice. Put in the Sword of Fire, Therapy, Therapy.